How are you everybody who is watching this program? I'm very happy to have you today. And this is Ole Jolai, Mokota Yellow Single, simply that call me Ole Jolai. I thank God by your grace, I am a teacher and who is teaching in the national and international level by using the digital technology. So today I'll have a good news for all online community. I have one of my students that I taught him uh, during the undergraduate studies at the Western Institute of Technology, his name is Usole, so he'll come and testify to you how did the, my teaching transform his life from problem he has been experiencing to the solution actual at which actually he has been enjoying. So I would like to invite you to listen carefully and then join us in this moment of learning from other people who have succeeded from this system. So Mr. Sorry, you want to welcome. Thanks. So here, this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Benedict Busole, one of my students in undergraduate level. We met together at the Islam Institute of Technology. And in actual that he, God has done a great things uh, between me and him and also his colleague or and his colleagues who have been pursuing undergraduate studies in departments of computer engineering, computer studies. So I would like to uh, I would like now to welcome you. So Mr. Busole, you want to welcome. This is an online community which is actually focusing on learning advanced science and advanced mathematics. So these are real future engineers, future medical doctors, future pharmacists. So actually are talking with even future leaders of our own country. So he's a Tanzanian and actually that he is enjoying to be a part of this country. So you're only welcome. Welcome. So here again we are, if you've ever gone through, it depends really where we are in time, because time is a, time is a tricky thing, <laughs> I heard that from a video. Like, so time, time really, because if you're watching this and you did go through the form, the, the O level videos, then you, have, have, you might have met me somewhere there. And here again, we are again here in the future. If you're watching this and you're sitting somewhere different here, we're in a room where we can't see anybody, but uh, we are hoping that you'll be seeing this in the future. So if you're in the future, it means myself, I'm talking to you from the past. And uh, for you to understand even the concept of time, you really have to be understanding good, basic of, uh, good basics in uh, physics here. And uh, yes, how, how exactly did I come to be here today? And why? I, why am I doing what I'm doing here, like talking to you? I'm talking to you because uh, it's like, I, I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you, it's like, how do you call it? We talk, call it testimony, but what is a testimony? Testimony means you have been through something, and at the end, you have to say exactly, how did I go from there? Like, what is my experience from where I'm standing right now? So it's like a testimony, but it also is an experience based on itself. And it is testimony. And mostly we have learned about testimony from a biblical standpoint of view. Because we have understood that someone, God has done something to someone, and then that someone has come up and say, this is my testimony I'm giving to you. But, okay, and this is the testimony that is going to go both with God and with science at the same time. So can we mix science? And God at the same time, I don't know, that is a discussion for another time. But today we're just going to say, and how exactly did I meet Mr. Angelo? I met Mr. Angelo when I was doing my undergraduate study at the Arreslam Institute of Technology. If you want to be a good engineer, my friend, I'm calling you friends now, but my younger brothers and sisters, yeah, it is the way. I don't know, maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm still believing that. And the idea of the future is a really good one, so 
that is the way. And uh, you know exactly why you chose physics, mathematics, you know why you, cho you chose bi biology and chemistry, you know exactly why. If you didn't know, you either wanted to be an engineer, you either wanted to be a doctor, or you either wanted to be a pharmacist, or a pharmacist you either wanted to be an agricultural expert, or whatever, but it was about science. And if it is about science, if you're watching it, it means you have, you want to get a basic, a really, you have already had some basic understanding of science over there, but now you're right going into an advanced level. And the Mr. Lai helped me during that time because I finished my, I finished from six, but after from six, I didn't really have a clear understanding of, uh, I still had some issues with mathematics. And uh, then I was just heading around and I heard about this teacher who was uh, teaching a few, but uh, calculus, but I never met him. So one day, I, I went into class uh, with a friend of mine, and then we got into the class and we sat down after a really long day of learning uh, calculus in class. And you know, the teachers which were teaching assumed already you knew everything. And because you knew everything, we have no issue going through the basics again. And uh, unfortunately, I forgot most of the things. So Mr. Nojelai, when he came into the class, uh, we started with the basics. Why do we call it an integral? So he defined it in a really, in a really different way than what we were used to. And by defining it in a really easy way, then I had a really different understanding. Remember, I wasn't so good at this, and we are many in that class. So by doing that, that first year, I got to experience in another way how to learn. And after learning that year, first and the second semester and the third one, I left. Because I left with already a really solid understanding and I went on to finish the remaining years by myself. So you have to understand that, yeah. So by doing this, you have to go through it. Even if it is difficult, you have to continue repeating. There's nothing that is more exciting, no, that is more helpful while learning in repeating what you so I believe really that this is going to help you, and I wish you all the best of Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Mr. Benedicto, for your testimony. I really congratulate and appreciate. And my online students, I want to confirm what has been saying is true. Really, we had a very fantastic moment of two years at the Islam Institute of Technology. Okay, so let me just ask you one question uh, for the Bene on behalf of advanced secondary students and the other national and international viewers. Okay, so in summary, what can you tell the advanced secondary students concerning about the education they learn through Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School in square bracket on July M online by using the digital technology, which actually yourself you are you have been pursuing in your undergraduate studies. Uh. Well, I, I, I'm not sure I really have a lot of things that I can tell them that they do not know already. Uh, I believe you're really smart people, and uh, do not ever let anyone tell you that you're not smart because you haven't understood something. Just because they understood it first doesn't mean that you cannot understand it either. You have all different ways of understanding something, and sometimes you all have even the same way of understanding something, only if you have good teachers. So by going through this, I hope that you you don't give up, okay? You do not have to give up. And these are good courses and the module that the teacher, Mr. Rodjolai, has put together so as you can understand easily. And uh, you can, and uh, if you do not understand, always remember to leave something in the comment section because uh, they, will, they will be looking at that as well. So I will hope you do not give up and I understand that you understand that uh, this module, the way it is taught, it is going to help you. Mm -hmm. So keep it up. Okay, so one additional final question. I uh, usually when we have been begin to be uh, a digital age, especially online, accessing all the different contents, I uh, we used to hear this sentence, it's difficult to believe somebody online. So what can you tell for the students who are still having doubt whether this it won't work? I don't for them? have a lot really to tell them despite saying uh, I'm the proof that even if this is online. For example, there's, there's something called the C, C plus, C. C is a language of computers. 
And the first time I learned a language of computers, it was using online classes. So someone who says that you cannot learn something from online classes, that is not true. I've done many projects at the Ressler Institute of Technology using C languages, and I can say they went through well. And I learned a lot of C languages and a lot of the knowledge that I have using the internet. Mm -hmm. So internet is a really good way of learning as well. So don't tell me it is not, or don't tell me it is difficult. Because if you have questions, you can always answer. And I believe Mr. Rajula will provide even his own contact so as you can ask your questions. So good luck. Oh, so it means that he, uh, my dear students of online, according to the uh, just it means I would like just to, 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 to appreciate uh, one phrase. He said that he, he has been a graduate at the Islam Institute of Technology when he has been taking his physical training, right? But he, at the end, he concluded and saying that himself also, he's a graduate or he's a good student and graduate online. So it means that he is a graduate online student and he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's still an active online student. So himself, he learned so many concepts online so there's no mr right now don't waste much of your time however that you should be careful when you're accessing online contents you're accessing to whom and what the source and what are those people really tell, telling you because you should be careful right but according to what he has said that himself he he could not have any doubt and really he's not convincing you to have any doubt about the work that is still going on for advanced secondary education rather than spending too much of uh, having doubts Spend that much, spend that proper time to make sure that you download this information that will be given for your present and future life success. This is it. Okay, so our online students, I would like to thank you very much. I thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Benedict. I really appreciate. I'm very blessed with your testimony. You have been speaking what is actual going on in your heart. And I thank you on behalf of other online students. And online students, right now, online viewers, you can ask him more questions about his testimony in the comment section below, and we'll give you cooperations. And again, this is just an extra thing, because always we give something extra. For those advanced secondary students who wish to be excellent in invisible engineers, means that who are like to pursue computer engineering, electronics engineering, uh, telecommunication engineering, maybe biomedical engineering, that is invisible, electrical engineering, because we are studying electrons which is invisible by our nasty eyes. So Mr. Benedict here, he's an expert in that, but even on my side, if you come to another part, I'm um, electronics engineer by professions, but on, on addition to that also, I'm a teacher. So it means that if you, are, you wish to go through those routes, then come into the comment sections to discuss and share so many information for your future. So, my dear students, this is the end of our testimony. I'm very happy. I think even yourself, you're happy. Let me know in the comment section, what did you learn? And then, how ready are you to testify about the advantages of online learning? So, thank you very much. Stay tuned. See you in the next test testimony. Bye-bye. Are you a pre from 60 students who has been looking at online secondary education, secondary school that can teach you the beauty of basic applied mathematics? <clears throat> or are you a from 60 students who is getting too much troubles on understanding and applying this, the subsidiary subject that's called the basic applied mathematics? Are you a parent or a son? Are you a parent or a father? Are you a parent or a relative or a guardian or a politician or a leader or a teacher who has children who are pursuing any of these combinations in Tanzania, PCB, CBA, CBA, CBG, ECA, LGE, and CBN, and experience challenges to understand basic applied mathematics? Or if you ever think about how you can learn the beauty, if you ever think to learn about how you can learn the beauty of basic applied mathematics according to the syllabus of Tanzania at any place in Tanzania or worldwide and at any time by using the power of internet. 
So the answer of all those questions will be revealed in this session. So I ask you stay connected and stay tuned so that you can get the answers of all the questions that are going on in our mind. How are you, everybody? This is Ole Jolai, Marco Tayai Lasingo. Those are my four names. But simply you can call me Ole Jolai. I thank God by his own grace who have created, who has created me in his, in his own image and likeness. And after he has created me, he has given me double citizenship. I am a citizen of the kingdom of heaven and I am a citizen of Tanzania and this is our national flag. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the foreign, foreign, uh, for foreign students to come and enjoy our beautiful country. So again, I thank God by his own grace who has given me a gift of teaching. Teaching is only July, only July is teaching. Teaching is the work of my, it, uh, it's the work of my heart. And teaching is the work that I will never uh, retire to do it. My last minute to do teaching is when I leave the planet Earth to go back to my father who is in heaven. So I'll let take this opportunity to welcome all the national pre-form 60, form 60, form 5 students who are studying any of the following combinations and the, even the, some ordinary diploma students who are studying engineering programs or science programs in diploma level because you might you need to know this concept that I'm going to teach you. Again, I'd like to welcome all the international students to come. I would like to welcome into our online school where that we can learn the best applied in mathematics. So you're warmly welcome into our Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School in Square Bracket College like M. Simultaneously, you're warmly welcome into our one of our official YouTube channel that called Tanzania Online A Level Safety School in Square Bracket College like M. This is an online school actually that we use to create contents, then just it means uh, uh, valuable contents uh, and then them, we transmit them into the cloud so that any student at any time and anywhere can access our these contents free of charge without paying any piece of coin of Tamanian shillings. We have so many departments uh, in this uh, in this, uh, in our online school, one department is called the Advanced Mathematics. We are teaching you four subjects. The subject of the day is called Basic Applied Mathematics, and the, it's a Basic Applied Mathematics for the pre-form 60 and form 60 students. However, that form five students also they can cover these contents, and those form five are uh, actually we, we okay they can cover in advance this concept uh, in order for them to be competent and prepare. Uh, and just to be well uh, informed with basic applied mathematics. Also, I dedicate this content to all receipters, to all students who are receiving the exam. I dedicate this content to all grade 12 students and also from 60 students themselves, you are warmly welcome. And if you are not familiar or you, are, you still have a doubt, this content is for whom? For Tanzania, uh, the students which have to study a subject called basic applied mathematics should pursue either any of these combinations, PCB, CBA, CBG, it's ECA, HGE, and CBM. So these are it means that all of this in, in order to learn all of this subject which I mentioned here, these are the you as the students who are pursuing the following combination, you need the knowledge of base of, of mathematics to apply on learning different concept of this. You are just yes, you have your core subjects. So the main topic of the day is called exponential logarithmic uh exponential and logarithmic function. So he had made a mistake. Let me correct the mistake that I made. I believe that you are ready to enjoy the beauty of basic applied mathematics. So logarithm, so exponential and logarithmic function. So exponential and logarithmic function. Financial logarithmic function. So now, uh, today we are going to learn about session five. Okay, the, we are going to learn. I am going to introduce to you the second subtopic that called calculus of exponential function. So all I will be teaching about session five, which is called introductions of derivatives of exponential function. So I will introduce to you. Again, another common question to all the students, especially those who have joined me recently 
or they have joined me previously, but possibly they forgot, I'd like to remind you. My classes are very interactive. What does it mean? It means that the students have a chance to interact with me at any sections of the session. How can you do it wirelessly? Well, so you have to interact with me by the comment sections below on the left hand side, at the bottom of your left hand side. You see comments there, just in, uh, take your mouse, the mouse of the computer or maybe the mouse of your, of your smartphone, so your iPhone, take it there and then write in a text in, or write, in, write in the following things to me. Firstly, you can write your testimony in that section. Secondly, you can also ask your questions in that section. Thirdly, you can give us feedback uh, if you have understood uh, our session. Uh, fourthly, you can use the comment sections also to introduce me, to introduce yourself to me, so I could know that you are accessing the question from where and what actual that you are looking for and how can I help you. But use the comment sections also to submit the homework that I've been leaving in previous session and even today's session and even in future sessions. So use the comment section to communicate with me. Again, lastly, before we start our prayer, okay, our prayer time, then uh, like, okay, so it's a time, uh, let us pray first and then just I'll finish on introducing the information I've written there. Then we'll go, we'll dive into session five. So let us pray. This is called the Alpha Opening Prayer or Alpha or Opening Prayer for any session. So I need God, you need God. We both need God. We, we all need God in learning best Catholic mathematics now and forever. So let us pray. Our Father who is in heaven, I come before your presence as your servant. I confess for all my sins, all my transgression, inequities, and offenses that I've committed before you. Lifting up my hands, the sign of surrendering, Father, I surrender before your presence. Wash me by your precious blood and use me right now in teaching millions of your students who have tuned in right now in order to receive good news from the kingdoms of heaven through me. Father, welcome to teach me how to teach your students about exponential and making function. And today I'm going to introduce them. It means I'm going to teach two topics at a time, calculus and also uh, exponential function. Father, welcome to help me because I can't do it without you. Father, I'm praying also I come before your presence at the PST to repent for all my online students if they have committed any sins, transgression, inequities before your present Father. Forgive them. I repent for them now. Forgive them and wash them and give them a chance to come and enjoy your presence in Jesus' name. Our Lord Jesus, welcome to teach us, welcome to open our mind, welcome to teach your students, open the mind of all our online students to understand and comprehend and keep this information that you are going to teach them in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you also for worshiping God and singing the, uh, the, the, uh, the just the part, the vase and the chorus of our national anthem, Mungu Bariki Tanzania, Mungu Bariki Tanzania. We bless also your country if you're international students. Okay, so if you're a new student or you have never registered into our online, into our online advanced secondary school, and then you wish to register yourself, that's another question. How can I register myself into this school and how can I access the contents? The answer is you can access all our contents online, so you should be an online active student. And also, you should be active because we publish at least one video every day at a particular time, but during the data. So the following are the registrations to, to us. You can register yourself now or you can take maybe a part of the session. Once you find that it's, it's work for you, then you subscribe. Don't subscribe because we are asking to subscribe. Subscribe because you see, uh, you see, the, you see uh, the help from, the, from Tanzania online a level second school. So if you don't see that, you don't understand that at all, then really, I want just to ask you that, just you can keep on watching videos until the day you understand or you find the information is helpful for you, then you click the icon so forth, the button so forth, or subscribe. And then, so how can you register yourself to us? So to us the abbreviations of Tanzania, Tanzania, online, LA, advanced secondary school, in square bracket, or in July, and all, Pass the abbreviations of Tanzania on lane A level, like Miss A, Seki, school. So to also square bracket for the July. But now, okay, so remember, you have a letter there, M, which is very important. And here also we have a letter M. So to also, just go to also. 
So he also said she, okay, to ask him. To ask him. We don't have a name school to ask him, but the applications of the name of the school. So how can you register yourself? Well, if you have an email, skip the first system. If you don't have an email, just go online and ask, how can I create a new email? Secondly, now use your email to sign in YouTube. Thirdly, search to us on in the YouTube. Don't write to us on. Just write Tanzania or Line A Level Seki School in square bracket on July M. Then you close the bracket. Once you, you search for that, you may see so many videos that we have created. Don't bother yourself about those, those videos. Just scroll down until you see a round button like this one. And beside it, there's a name called Tanzania Online A Level Seki School. Square bracket on July M. You may see the number of videos that you have already published and the number of subscribers who have already registered. But here you are not yet in school, you are still yet at the welcoming poster of the school, just like in a uh, presidential office, uh, uh, or maybe in Tamisen or whatever, uh, maybe in Boru Secondary School, or maybe so that is called the welcoming or called it a poster, school poster. So Number four, we ask you to click this round button to go inside to ASO. It means that you are at the interest gate. So when you reach here at the interest gate, if you click this icon, then you get inside to ASO. You see a big band. You see also Zondo Toolbar, which has words on homes, videos, playlist, community, channel, about. So we ask you to click these buttons, which you can subscribe. In order for you to register yourself, then the icon should change from subscribe into subscribe. And the icon of the bell appear on its right hand side. So click this icon of the bell, you may give a three option, choose the options of all. Then the next step, the six is said, click uh, click this terms called the playlist. So click playlist. And then okay, so you are done with registration. Uh, it means that from now on, once you are online, you will receive notification whenever we publish a new video for advanced secondary education, for advanced online, advanced secondary education. So in order for you to access our content systematically, we create playlist for each topic. We have created a playlist for the topic called the exponential and algorithmic function or for basic applied mathematics. So it means you can set this playlist where we find the arrangement of the session from the first session to the last session. So we learn them, or learn the concept consecutively or sequential. So lastly, you can click the icons here on your right hand side. You see the icon of share. You can click the icons of share to share this video uh, to other students or to other parents, uh, also to other people or to other teachers through any social media that you are using. So that is all about the announcement, the pre-announcement. Uh, join me, I will, I, will, I will present to you some other announcement as we go, as we continue. So are you ready for today's session? Take your exercise book, your scientific calculator, take your, exa your, your roller, take your pen, be serious, let us learn the beauty of this couple of mathematics. So let us start with, let us link, let, let link it uh, with what? So let us link the quick uh, this uh, the previous session, which is session four, with what in, with today's session. How do we link? I have to do a quick review. I have to re remind you some few concepts that we covered in previous session. Firstly, the session is titled as uh, solving questions, possibly, if I'm not mistaken. Solving questions. <coughs> solving what? Solving questions of what? Of exponential and the algorithmic function. Oh, of exponential function. So solving question of graph, so solving question of graph, domain, and range of exponential function. So actually that will be given, I uh, will be sketching on, we've been sketching the graphs. The graphs of what? So in total, you can sketch this graph of the graph of what? Of exponential function. Exponential t, exponential function. 
כן? אקספוננציאל פונקציה. אגיין, אגיין, we told you that how you can use the graph to find the domain of the exponential function. And we did so many examples. Then we told you again how you can find range of the exponential function. And we told that range are the set of possible values of what? Of independent variable, which means is x. Okay? So we've been dealing with different cases, but if you do remember that a lot of graphs of exponential function, most of them are conditioned. Okay, so you can find that the graph is just like this. Or you can find that the graph is just like this. So you see, that these are the lot graph of exponential function, actually. But this the, uh, these are the graphs of exponential function. Sometimes you can find the other one is just like this. Etc. 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 So what do we say? So that is uh, all about. So range is the value of y, but to make x the subject, remain the range, remain the value of x, but there is nothing else to make the subject there. So today I would like to introduce you about uh, the derivative of exponential function. Derivative of exponential function. So are you ready for that? Please join me in today's contents. So my dear student, if you have missed this session four, that titled as uh, problem solving or solving questions of graph, domain, and range of exponential function, then you can access in the playlist called uh, exponential and algorithmic functions in our official YouTube channel that called online online a level set in school in square bracket on July M. So you didn't miss anything. That the goodness of digital educational system. Because in digital educational system, if you have missed it the previous session, then we do record so you can access it at any time and anywhere. That the goodness, that the goodness, that the excellence of digital technology. And that the excellence of Tanzania online advanced in secondary school in square bracket on July M. If you are sick, Maybe for three days, unfortunately, once you are well, or once you get well, you can access the content which has been covered within three days when you've been sick. That's the advantage and the excellence of digital technology. Okay. So, uh, 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 my dear student, let us uh, dig, uh, go into the today's session. And today, we are going to teach you the concept called the introduction. So, uh, just let us start with the big picture, which is called the calculus of exponential function. So let us let me teach you about calculus of exponential exponential function. So calculus of exponential function. So to remind you, however, as we told you in previous session. Uh, calculus, we talked to you during the form five. Calculus of exponential function, calculus actual, uh, contains three topics. Or uh, calculus, so remember that. So remember that calculus, calculus covers three main, main topics. Three main topics. Okay, three main topics. So calculus covers three main topics in mathematics. In advanced, in advanced, pure or basic applied mathematics, or in short, you call it IBAM. And these three topics are namely as what? So the first one is called differentiation. So the first topic, whenever we mention the word calculus, we may mean we are going to do with differentiation. Differentiation, different, 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 
Tati. So ifere. Ifere. Differentiation. Differentiation. Let me check his spelling. The thing that in my mind, I know how to pronounce it, but different, 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 yeah. There's no S. So different, differentiation. Yeah, differentiation. So you have differentiation or uh, alternative we call it derivative. So you have differentiation of a function, differentiation or derivative of the function, and then the second topic is what integration. Of, of a function. So whenever you talk uh, calculus, calculus means that we are talking about integration of what of a function. And the third topic is called differential, differential, differential equation, differential equation. So the first question, which is short to call to the so the first question. So this is general, general definition of 40 of calculus. So calculus contains three main topics. Covers or in other words say that it contains three what three main topics in advanced and pure mathematics or basic applied mathematics, then differentiation or derivatives of the function, uh, integration of the function, and differential question. So, so you say that is similar. Similarly, in exponential, similarly, the calculus. So it means exponential is a one of the type of the function. So the calculus of exponential function. Calculus of exponential function, so the calculus, so the calculus of exponential function, the calculus of exponential function consisting three main topics, namely the first one. Differentiation or derivative of what? Of a function. Derivative of exponential of an of an exponential. An exponential function. So differentiation or derivative of an exponential function. And then the second one, integration. Of exponential function. Integration of exponential function. Then number three, we have differential. Equation of exponential function. So, you can pause the video and copy these registrations or these steps, these, these seven steps of how of of registration to to to, to ASUN and also how uh, how you can access the content systematically and then how you can share the link to other students. Okay, so. In this subtopic, in this second subtopic of 40, 
of calculus of exponential function. So we'll be dealing with the differentiation or derivatives of an exponential function. We'll be dealing with integrations of exponential function. We'll be dealing with differential equation of what it is. Remember that it is all about introduction. Introduction. So today I'm, I'm introducing to you differentiation of 40, differential equation, differential equation of 40 of exponential equation, the exponential function. Because we have differential equations of logarithmic function, and have differential equations of polynomial function, etc., etc., etc. So these are the three concepts that we are going to cover in this second subtopic and you have to stay tuned. So in session five, I will introduce you about 30, the differentiation or the reverse of an exponential function. Then the next other the sessions, I will teach you about the next two parts. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, because you're still dealing with exponential, let alone dealing with logarithmic function. So let us start with the first thing. So, okay, so let's say that in, the first, the first branch of calculus of exponential function, which it is what differentiation differentiation or derivative or derivative of exponential exponential function so differentiation or derivative of exponential function so remember that I told you you have two types of exponential function the first one is called the common exponential function and what and the and the uh, natural exponential function okay. So you say that in exponential function, we have two types of derivative of exponential function. Uh, yeah, so it means that uh, in the calculus of exponential function, there are two types of derivatives of exponential function. Or we can say that in uh, BOSS, BOSS, common, Exponential, most common exponential function, common exponential function, which you say that, for example, f of x is equal to a power x, and a natural, natural exponential. natural exponential function can be can be different can be differentiated so can be differentiated to obtain can be differentiated to obtain it this law The function, the slope of the function. So both common exponential function and natural exponential function. And remember that the function uh, means that the general form can be differentiated. So remember that. The, okay. So let me just relate the sentence when I include the general form of natural exponential function, because possibly some other students have forgotten. It. So you can say that, let's say g of x is equal to e to our x. Okay, so can be can be differentiated to obtain to obtain of the derivative. Of 
inverse of the function. So both common exponential and the natural exponential function can be differentiated to obtain the derivative of exponential function. That the sentence that we have. So now let us start with one point one uh, derivative of natural exponential natural exponential natural exponential function. So you say that a natural exponential function a natural exponential function can be differentiated can be differentiated a natural exponential function can be differentiated by using Different rules of what of dif different rules of differentiation. So a natural exponential function can be differentiated by using different rules of fourteen, different rules of fourteen of differentiation. Hmm? So different rules of differentiation. So remember that. Uh, here we have what? We have f of x is equal to e power x. Is equal to e power x. So, example of this was example. First principle. First principle. Chain rule. Then we have what? Product rule. Etc. Et okay. So that the uh, Brief introductions of derivative or differentiation of exponential function. So, if that the case now, let us go into the next subsection, which is 1.1. .1. Uh, differentiation. Of exponential function, transition of exponential function, transition of exponential function, differentiation of exponential function by using by using the first thing. Principle. Where is the first principle? So, if a session of four, natural natural exponential function. Where is the first thirty? The first principle. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be following some steps that uh, can be a question. So given ffx is equal to e power x, then find out, find first derivative f dash of x of 
or find dy dx, right, of ffx by using first thing principle. So suppose that this is the question that will be given. Yesterday we ended the which question number? So solution. The first state to solve this problem, we ask you to recall what? Recall. Recall the first thing. Principle. So we call the first principle. So the first principle states that ffx dash, which is equal to dy dx, which is equal to d of the function ffx with respect to x, is equal to, which is equal to changing in y. Let me just give you all the notation. Mind you, in high voltage, change in y over change in x. Now, which is equal to it? Is equal to limit as x as h or change in x approaches to zero. And then the numerator function is f of x plus h minus f of x. So then, uh -huh, we say what? <coughs> so we divide this what? We divide this H. So simply, this is the first principle. And we call this as equation 1, equation 1. So we'll be given what? We'll be given FFX is equal to natural exponential function e power x. Support this to be equation 2. So to find Do you have any question about calculus of exponential function? If the answer is yes, please use the comment section there to ask me. So then ladies and gentlemen, we say that this is the first step, so we go into the second step. So the second step, we say that let us substitute it. Okay, so it means, it means let's find it. Let's find ffx dash. So we say that ffx dash, or we say that derivative of a function is restricted to x, like this. This is equal to it. It's got limit as x as h, h approaches to zero, <coughs> then we have ffx plus h. So our ffx from this function is e power x. So we have e power x plus what? Plus h. Then minus ffx, which is e power e power x. Of what? Of h. So it means that if we have to increment x in by what? H for that, uh, that nature of the function. So D dx of what? Of ffx, this is equal to what? It's equal to limit as h approaches to zero. <coughs> now you have a power x plus h minus a power x of what? Of h. So if that the case from the rules of uh, from the rules of exponential function, we say that that e power x plus h 
is equal to a power x times a power h. <coughs> so suppose that this is what? This is equation 2, equation 3, and there it is equation 4. So you say that the third state substitute substitute the equation equation <coughs> four into equation three. <coughs> so you say that the a b x of a bar x because our f of x is e by x is equal to limit as x as h as h approaches to zero then you have a bar x times a bar h minus a bar x over h so if you if you inspect the numerator then a bar x is common so you have a b x is e power x is equal to limit h approaches to zero. So here you have what? e power x. This is e power h minus one of what? Of h. So you see that d dx of e power x limit as h approaches to zero. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you say that for this case, uh, we can write this function as e power x, and then we have e power h minus 1 over h. Okay. So now we have to deal with this part. So remember, h is very small, small, small value approaches to what? To zero. So we go into the first step. First step of our derivative, we say that so what this is version five. So set so approximated. Approximate H. Approximate H or approximate H. The approximate approximate E or H. So approximate E or H minus one. So how do we have to make? So it means that if you take e power h minus 1 over h, then just let us assume h is equal to 0 0.000. 0, 1. For that case, it means we have e power 0 0.0001 minus 1 divided by what? Divided by 0 0.001. 0, 0, Zero, one. So what do you get? Just take assumption. The value of h is zero point zero 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 one. So if I check the my table here, the answer for this computation, if you use your scientific operator, one point zero 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 five. So for that case now, 
to approximate e by h, there is e by h minus 1, expression of e by h minus 1 over h. So this is approximately equal to it. So this is approximately equal to 1. This make equation one. Question 6. So you say that we are in the first system of derivative. Substituted question six. Substitute, substitute equation 6 into equation 5. Substitute this. So substitute what you have obtained on right hand side into this equation 5. So what you will get on left hand side, you will get e dx So d dx of f of x is equal to it. As h approaches to zero, we have e power x. Then all, all of this uh, fractional expression comes to one. So e by x times one is e by x. So the dx of f of x, y of x dash, so the dx of what? The dx e bar x times 1, actually it is e bar x, so the d dx which is equal to dx so for first is e power x differentiate you get e power x so if you differentiate the but, uh, exponential function it's not exponential, the response is what is e power what? is e power x. So this the fact you have to remember for the rest of your life. So you never differentiate an exponential function in x simple like this, then the final response you should expect it to be that. Okay? Should expect to be that one. Okay. So then we still have what it derivatives of what of common exponential function. Okay, so my dear student, uh, let us let me teach you the next part. And this will be differentiation of exponential of common exponential function. So differentiation of common instead of natural, it's common what differentiation of common. Transition of common exponential function by using the first principle. 
So this will be question two, given that given that a function f of x is equal to a power x this is the general form of common exponential function. Then find f of x or the y dx of the function by using the first theory, first principle. Okay, so this is the second question. Okay, so the first step we say that recall the first principle, which is f of x dash is equal to these are the notations. So f of x dash is equal to limit as x as h approaches to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So given that f of x is equal to what? For you, you have to copy everything. For me, I'm trying to redeem the time by just skipping some of the steps. By just quoting what I've written. The second step, let us find the f of x dash. Uh, the f of x dash. So the f of x dash, we just write f of x dash is equal to d the x of f of x, limit as h approaches to what? To zero, uh -huh. so zero, so it means that uh, instead of having e, okay, so because that we like to enjoy mathematics, we like to enjoy basic and mathematics, let me clean it. However, that I can do it and just replace some information, but you know, mathematics is really interesting if you do yourself on the hands. Just like yourself. So find the f of, uh, f of x dash of 40. Of, uh, means find the f of x dash. Yeah, find f of x. Find the 40. So simply say the substitute. So substitute equation 2. Into it. Into question 1. Question one. So simply say that f of x dash, which is equal to dy dx, is equal to what? Is equal to limit as h approaches to zero. Then you have f of x. What f of x is a power x plus h minus a power x divided by h. So this one, I can put it in, in bracket. So f of x dash is equal to limit as h approaches to zero, a power x plus h minus a power x, and then over h over h. So suppose that this one to be equation three. We go into the third state. So the third state, say that we can consider a part of, so consider a power x plus h in equation 3. So a power x plus h. So simply according to the laws of exponent, if we add exponents of the same base, then this is equal to if we multiply the exponent. So we have a power x times 40 a power h. So a power h. So a power x plus h is equal to a power x times a power h. So this one, this is equation 4. Okay, so we say that in the first state now, you have to be careful. In the first state, we say that substitute Equation 4. Substitute equation 4 into equation 3. So we have f, f, f dash of x is equal to o, limit as h approaches to 0. Mm -hmm. So you have what? a power x times what? Times a power h minus what? Minus a power x divided by h. Hmm? 
So this is the fact. And afterward, we have what? F dash of x is equal to what? Is equal to limit as h approaches to zero. A power x is common. So if you have a power x, you have a power h minus 1 over h. Okay? Over h. So then now we say that let us, the first system, let us consider part of equation on the right hand side. So consider what? A power H minus one over what? Over H. So consider A power, A power H minus one over H. Or just let So let what? Let M or let what? Let R is equal to what? Is equal to A power H minus 1 over H. Then now we have to think what do we get? So we have to find, we have to think about it. So remember that as H approaches to what? So you say that as H approaches to 0. Then our R, which is equal to what? Is equal to A power H minus 1 of what? Over H. So as H approaches to 0, we have R is equal to A power H minus 1 over H. As H approaches to 0. Then we have R is equal to A power H minus 1 over H. Huh? So as H approaches to what? As H approaches to 0. So let us think. We have so many possible values of A. So remember that A, so not in your mind, A, so A, is not constant. A is not a constant number. It is not a constant number, but A is a variable. It is a variable. In most cases, either it can be a fraction or a decimal or a whole number. It is a variable. So because of A, uh, a it is a variable, so we say that A power H minus 1 as h approaches to what to 0 as okay means that as, as what as so remember that the limit as h approaches to 0 so for example if you take a maybe it is 2 or it's 1 so you have so you may get a certain value so it means that for example if you start to say that h is equal to 1 and you substitute there that if you, for example, you say that suppose A is 2 and then H is, is what is 0 0.21. So if you substitute it, you get a certain constant, which will be 2 power 0 0.1 minus H minus 1 of what? Over H. And H is what? 0 0.1. So you get a certain constant number. Okay? Because it's 2 power 0 0.1. Uh -huh, minus 1 over this one, get a certain constant number. Again, if for example you say that, means you get a constant, CST. Again, if you take A is equal to 3, then H is equal to 0 0.001. And you substitute into this equation. So you say that limit as H approaches to 0, and A or H minus what? Minus one. So it means for example, there is three out power zero point zero zero one okay, minus one over zero point zero zero one. So you get a certain constant number, but another one 
far different from that one. So generally, generally, R, sorry, so, that, so generally say that limit as h approaches to zero, then a power h minus one of what? Over h. This approximately equal to k, whereby whereby k is what is constant number, this constant number. So you say that whereby k is the variable. Mm -hmm. This constant number, okay. so this constant is any constant number. Is any constant whole number. No, is any constant in number. So remember that there we have what you so saw. A is not a constant, is not a constant number. So A is not a fixed fixed number. A that A can take, so let me just correct this phrase, that A can take any value. So can take any value, whether fraction number, A can be a whole number, A can be a decimal number, A can be a rational number, a rational fractional number, so A can take any number from that context. So simply we say that uh, we can formulate another equation. So we can formulate another equation. So wait, 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 wait a moment. So this will, this is equation five. So we can formulate equation six. So we say that uh, So, say that as what? Limit as h approaches to zero. Then we have what? We have a power h minus one over h. This is approximately equal to constant k. So this supposed is what? It's equation six. So the last step there, we say what the sixth step. The sixth step, we say that substitute equation six into equation five. So simply say that ffx dash is equal to dy dx. Hmm? So limit as h approaches to zero. Mm -hmm. So we had it. So here we had a or x. And then we let a or h minus one over h to be equal to r. Then we did the computation. And finally, we find that uh, mean that if you substitute different values of h and h approaches to zero, then the value zero is constant k. So now we see that f of x dash, which is equal to derivative of common exponential function a power x, uh -huh, for this case, uh, is equal to a. So it's equal to k, which is constant, times a power x. So this is the final, or this is the, de so the derivative, so it means that we say that the derivative of a common exponential function is this one, where k is what in, where k, where k, 
constant number. Where k is constant in 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 number. Okay, my dear students, that's all about theory. That's all about the uh, derivative of common exponential function. We don't worry about k, don't worry about a, because we'll do some examples that to illustrate the concept that we are teaching. So the point where we are, which we have been dealing with it was 1.2. 1.2, I think that was 2. It was 2. So right now, the third concept is let me teach you about chain, chain rule of exponential function. Chain rule of natural exponential function. Isn't it? Even it's natural or common. So chain rule of natural chain of nat chain rule of natural exponential natural exponential function chain rule of natural exponential function chain rule of natural exponential function, chain rule of natural exponential function, chain rule of natural exponential function, chain rule of natural exponential function. Uh -huh. So chain rule of natural exponential function. Uh -huh. So what do you say about this chain rule of natural exponential function? So you remember the chain rule that we need uh, a function in a particular state. In a particular stage. So, for for instance, you say that given an exponential function f of x is equal to e as base, okay, uh, of another function which is g of x. Okay, so this will be let's say question three, and then you'll be asked to find out find the derivative of the given function respect to x. So how do we deal with this? So solution. We have been given a function which is f of x is equal to e power g of x. So according to the chain rule, we say that the first step we have to let so let, your, let a is equal to g of x. Okay. Once we find it, we can find the a, the x. So the a, the x is equal to g dash of x because we don't know the function g of x. Okay. So this you can call it in. Uh, this is equation one. This is question two. Do you enjoy the beauty of basic applied mathematics? Please tell me in the comment sections if you understand. Basic, basic applied mathematics is a very interesting subject. Tell me in the comment, please. Okay? So then, if that's the case, we go back into our function. We have f of x is equal to e power g of x, but we let g of x is equal to a. So e power a. So now to find the derivative of this function respect to x, so now, we don't have a variable x, we have variable a. So we say that uh, finds derivative so finds derivative, we say that f dash of x is equal to if we differentiate e power a with respect to a. So if we differentiate e power a with respect to a, we get e power a. So simply, this will be d, d of what? 
So it will be D of So it will be D D of E power A This is equal to E power A But what is A? Simply A is what we let E is equal to G of X So this is what? Question 3 So the chain rule now So the chain rule for this case to be what? The chain rule in most cases is expressed in, is expressed as what? dy dx for example is equal to let's say dp dp dot dp dx times what? dy dp. So dp and dp cancel we use to write the dx. So that the chain rule. So this is the second word. This is second step. Second step we call it call the chain rule. So this is the chain rule for example. But for our case, in order to find ddx, our chain rule will be what? ddx of what? Of e power g of x. This is equal to what? So it will be da of uh, da respect to what? da is respect to dx multiplied by what? Do what? dy is also to dx. So you say that d dx of ffx, which means that ffx dash, this is equal to what? <coughs> this is equal to d a over dx. Then there we have what? d respect to dA how much is y y is e power g. e power g of x so simply to get f dash of x we have to find it we have to use the expression dA dx then we have to use times what d dA of e power g of x like this. So this will make our equation what? Our equation 4. So this will be our chain rule for, the, for this case. So the, the, the first derivative, so you go into the third state. So the third state, we say what? The third state, we say uh, substitute substitute equation 1, equation 2, not equation 1, equation 2, and the equation 3. 3 into the chain rule, which is what equation 4. So in this fact, you have f, f x dash is equal to what? What is the a dx? The a dx is equal to g dash x is equal to first derivative. Of the function of x, uh, the function of g of x. Then what is d d d d a of e power g x? Uh -huh. What is it? So d of e power a, which is e power uh, e power. It means that d of means the derivative of e power g of x is equal to what? Is equal to e power or e power g of what? Of x. So if we differentiate the a if we differentiate e power a with respect to a, we get e power a. But what the value of a? 
the value of a is g of x, so we substituted the a with g of x. So it means our equation 3 now is d, d of e power a with respect to a is equal to e power g of x. So this, this one is, is the value of the a, the x, and then we multiply with it. We have to multiply with d, the a of e power gx or e power a according to our plating. With the answer is e power t, e power g of x. So this is the derivative. So the first derivative of any natural exponential function, which are uh, its exponential function or its exponent is a is exponential is is what it is a function. This is equal to it. So this is equal to g dash of x times e by g of x. These are still simple stuff of derivative of exponential function. The only challenge that I know you're experienced right now is because I'm using what in the letters. Don't worry that in the next session, which will be session 60, I will be solving different questions about the uh, derivative of exponential function. And I'll teach you all these three cases. Case one means the, it means derivative of common exponent of natural exponential function. The second case that we covered today, derivatives of uh, common exponential function. And then the third one is the use of chain rule on differentiating natural exponentiality function. So if you differentiate exponential function, which the base is e and exponent is g of x, this will be the response. And we'll do examples. So keep this information, you realize it in the next session as well as you can. So right now, it's a time for me to leave the homework and end this session. Uh, in order to give you some time to meditate on what I've told you, rather than keep on teaching you the stuff why you are, you, are, you are in a saturated state. So, example Roman B, find God, find FFX dash of just, let me just give you, give you a simple function. 2 power x. That is. That is. However, that I didn't teach you any uh, numerical or functional. I think that, okay. Yes, it's that one. So, however, that I didn't teach you yet about theory, about uh, examples, but I'd like to leave this question, that question to challenge you about derivative of exponent of common exponential function. So my dear student, I believe that you have got something. I thank God who have given me the gift of teaching. I thank God who have given the opportunity to teach you uh, this concept in a different in a different style. And I thank you also who have taken your time to join me. Right now, uh, I would like to say this is the end of session. This is the end of session five, introductions of derivatives of exponential function. Uh, today I've been teaching about the concept. In the next session, which is session 60, uh, you'll join me in order to learn about theory, about problem solving or question or solving questions about theory, calculus of exponential function or differentiation of exponential function. So we didn't teach you yet about integration of exponential function and differential question of exponential function. So it's just there are two couples of announcement before we end this session. In case you feel from your heart that you'd like to offer you are feeling sense giving offering to our Almighty God through this program, or your seed offering through this program, or your covenant uh, feeling offering of an amount. But just to hear from your heart that you like to be a part and receive the blessing that God used to bless his people who always used to uh, accelerate his ministry or his work. So you are only welcome to offer. You are free in sense giving to heaven to rule Tanzania online advanced secondary school. And, and, and this is the simple method for you to offer through this telephone number. We we'll send you a free sense giving of an amount of 1,000 shillings, 500 shillings. We really accept and receive any 
offering that God commanded or God ordered the, or instructed the, his children to offer him. So send the ages through this telephone number 075-974-5331. Registered name is what you call July Tariai. So just send it and then we'll make a call and just send another SMS of descriptions. If you want to do the bank transaction, then click the icons below, show more. So my dear student, again, I'd like, uh, lastly, I'd like to welcome you into our Tanzania Online Advanced Library, where you can access our contents at any time with a very affordable, or with a cheap, or just with a cheap, or with, uh, with a very affordable price. So in our, in our book, in our online bookstore, you can access, first of all, the, syllab the basic apprentice mathematics syllabus for advanced secondary education from five to form six in United. So because because it is that is the United Republic of Tanzania Ministry of Education and Vocational Training. So basic apprentice mathematics syllabus for advanced secondary education for five to form six. So you may order this book or a copy of it. It means we make pamphlets also. Just so you cannot afford this, then you can also you can order it in a pamphlet. Again. We need this, uh, you can order this reference book, which is called Basic Apply Mathematics for Advanced Level Secondary Schools Students Book from 5 to and form 6, which has been written by Tanzania Institute of Education. So Tanzania, I recommend this book to be in the hands and in the mind of every student of mine, or even if that you are not my students, I advise you to have a, I advise you to have this book when you are learning Basic Apply Mathematics because we really recommend this book that has been recommended by the syllabus or by the just means that the teaching materials and, and so forth. So really, I ask you to have this book. You can order it. Its price is cheap. And then, again, you can order another reference book called Pure Mathematics 1 and Pure Mathematics 2. We refer some concept, not every concept. And you should not be confused by the word pure mathematics. Okay? You are learning basic applied mathematics, but it, all of those concepts of uh, basic applied mathematics, uh, all of those concepts that you are learning in basic applied mathematics, they have been taken from pure uh, mathematics. Okay, again, you can order this basic applied mathematics review, problems and solution of 2001 to 2016 uh, with a very affordable price. And how? Okay, from our bookstore, and we can send to any student or any parent or any guardian or any. Uh, it means that any, any, any leader or any politician or any educator or any teacher uh, uh, to any regions of the United Republic of Tanzania. How are you going to order? Simple. Just send to me a message of 40 and SMS of your order. Then I will call you myself. So this telephone number 0759745831. Okay, so before we end this session and give God thanks, uh, thanksgiving prayer, uh, I would like just to remind you to subscribe if you didn't do so. And I would like to ask you also to make sure that you inform other students about this good news and be active students. And the next day, expect you to learn another new session for exponential logarithmic function. So I really thank God who has been with me, who has given me strength, understanding, and actual that in the words or the language to teach you basic applied mathematics. I know it's a subsidiary subject, so in, in most years, in the most minds of, uh, in the mind of the most students, this actual song does not seem in, the, in their mind uh, in a simple way, in a simple style. So I'm really asking God to give me wisdom to make sure that I help every student who have been prepared to get help from me. So that's a very important point. And right now, let us give God all the glory and honor through our thanksgiving prayer. Or we call it Omega prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, we come before your presence as your children. We say thank you for the great thing that you've done. Father, we thank you because you come. You came, you are here, and you'll be here for the rest of the life of our life at this place. Father, we thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your kingdom. Thank you because you're wonderful and grateful. We thank you for everything that you've taught us in this in concepts of introduction of differentiation of exponential function. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We bless all your students, Lord. Father, to receive this blessing and keep it for the rest of their life. Father, we thank you and we thank you 
and we thank you. And we come before your presence, we declare your word that written in the book of Psalm 136, verse 1, Soro, verse 3. The word of God say, give thanks to the, to the God for his good, for his love endures forever. Amen. Then the second point that Father, we have asked before your presence is actual. You gave us a consecration and you gave us a stamina to accomplish your business. Father, receive all the glory and praise now and forever into, into us all. in Jesus' name. Amen. So, thank you very much for joining me in this prayer. Keep enjoying the beauty of basic applied mathematics. See you in the next session of basic of exponential and logarithmic function. May God bless you abundantly.